Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. Today the topic of our discussion is a very important and interesting concept in ecology, keystone species. What are keystone species, how it affects an ecosystem, and what are the different types of keystone species? We'll be discussing these within 5 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Please watch till the end for complete understanding. Let's begin. So these are all keystone species, rhino, African elephant, tiger, all are keystone species. The concept of keystone species was put forward by Robert Payne, famous American ecologist, during his studies on rocky intertidal ecosystem where he identified starfish as a keystone species. Keystone species can be defined as any species whose removal or reduction from an ecosystem adversely affect the overall diversity, stability and trophic structure of an ecosystem. Let us see how these species affects an ecosystem. Let's take the case of tiger. This is just for the sake of understanding. As you can see in a food chain, these grass are the producers and that is grazed upon by this deer population and that is further preyed upon by this tiger population. And nature assigns each species with a unique role for stabilizing this ecosystem. Simply think of the situation. If the tiger population declines, what happens? Normally, the prey population, the number of prey increases. That ultimately causes the reduction at the producer level. That can be catastrophic. That can be dangerous. So once the reduction in producer level happens that causes complete imbalance and destruction of the ecosystem. This will ultimately reduce the entire species diversity of the ecosystem and also leading to trophic cascade. Trophic cascade means once this top level keystone species is removed that will directly affect the prey population that can also indirectly affect further down the food chain at the producer level and also the diversity and abundance of many other species. That's why we are taking huge effort to conserve these keystone species. They are the keystone for the sustenance of an ecosystem. Now moving into the different types of keystone species. Normally what we think keystone species are often predators which are very low in number but having profound impact on stabilizing that ecosystem. Examples include tiger, then shark, grizzly bears, starfish, wolf, etc. Then prey population can also be keystone species like Antarctic krill, that is food for giants like blue whale, dolphins, etc. Then snowshoe hare, their population is very important in maintaining that ecosystem. Then there are ecosystem engineers like African elephant, beaver, etc. They are actually maintaining that ecosystem as such. Think of African elephant. They can overgraze that grassland. Keeping that ecosystem as grassland will not allow tall plants to grow as they overgraze the ecosystem. Whereas beaver, by making dams, it is actually creating an ecosystem for many other species. So such species are called as ecosystem engineers. Then there can be mutualists like honeybees, hummingbird, etc. pollinating hundreds of plant species and their survival is closely linked to the survival of all other plant species and animal species that is dependent directly or indirectly on those plants. And finally, even producers can be a keystone species like fig tree, ficus that is providing food throughout this year for all organisms in a forest. Another example is saguaro cactus that is also a nesting site and also food source for many species of animals, plants and insects, thus acting as a keystone species in desert ecosystem. Hope you understand the concept of importance of keystone species and why we are taking that much effort to conserve these species. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.